Hello and welcome to Alpha Wisdom. This is the channel that offers lessons in how to read palms. I'm Mystic Cassandria, and this is Lesson 71. As you see on your screen, we are talking about the four fingertip shapes, spatulate, square, conic, and pointed. All right? This is what they look like. We judge their names by what we see with our eyes. What do, we, what do they look like that reminds us of something else? For example, the spatula may resemble a kitchen utensil or a medical tool. The square, we see square shapes all the time. Conic, maybe we think of a cone. That might have been the uh, reasoning behind that name coming up. Now look at pointed. Pointed looks pretty much the same, only it's much narrower. So in some reference material, there are only three shapes and conic and pointed are combined together in that section of the discussion under the headed, uh, heading of pointed fingertips. So just be aware of that. We're talking about them separately. Okay, let's move on. There's more to say about each one, but this is what we're going to say. How does it get, um, really, what is the importance with the fingertip? Well, it is important because the fingers are like antennas that attract the energy of the universe. We think of this energy as the electric current of life. So the fingertip is the point of initial contact that the individual has with the life force. Once this life force enters the fingertips, it flows through the fingers into the palm like a cable, the cables of lines going everywhere. Well, these lines of the hand carry this energy to energize the entire body, including the organs and, of course, the mind. After the energy has circulated through the hand, it exits through the fingertips again. This cycle repeats continuously throughout life of the individual, all right? So that's a look at why fingers are important. Yeah, we need them, we use them, but when it comes to the root of energy, because everything is energy. All right, well, let's get back in now. Spatula, these are some characteristics. Realism in everything. They are practical, use common sense, constantly on the go. They are associated with action, and these are people possessing the type of fingertip tend to be dynamic thinkers and have an original mind. So that's your spatula. Let's go on to the next one. This is square. Now you were introduced to square on the last lesson. All right. So what can we say about square fingertips? Regularity and order arrangement in everything. Everything has to be laid out. It's like a system is going on here. Everything is planned. No upsets. That phrase, everything has to be in place, is associated with the square fingertip. Routine. And they resist change. A few more items on uh, information on them. Uh, the square shape being the mark of a practical character is found in the hands of those who take a rational view of life. What they lack in creativity, they more than make up for it in skilled know-how. So no matter how they are, they seem to have this natural understanding of many, many things. So know-how. So let's go on to the next one. This is the conic. All right. Intuitive. Yes. That's another name for psyche. Of course, you know, we all are. We all are. But it seems to show more 
with those with conic fingertips. Love of beauty. Now, the beauty can be among something that's not quite beauty, beautiful to the average person, but their eyes will take them right to whatever is beautiful. They just have this natural attraction for it. They tend to be a bit impulsive. They are artistic and they are sympathetic. So people with this fingertip symbolize a creative turn of mind. Possessing this type of finger reveals an appreciation of the arts and a flexible disposition. Flexible. All right. Let's go on to our last one. This is the pointed. All right. Now look closely at this. All the fingers may not appear to be pointed. And I'm using this one to show you that sometimes, and it's not rare, it's common. Sometimes we have fingertips on one hand that can be almost all different. For example, the mixed, I'm sorry, the um, middle finger may be, well, could be square or could be uh, could be um, pointed. Well, usually it's a, a longer finger, more solid, so you might not see that there. Or it could be spatulate, or it could be conic. We don't know. But the point is, combination will be there. So if you're looking at a hand, and maybe your hand, and you're noticing that uh, things appear different. You can't really tell. One way of telling is to hold up a sheet of pay, plain paper, white paper, put your finger behind it, and see if you can see the shape even clearer. But anyway, with this one, the pointed, idealistic, sensitive, highly inspirational, a daydreamer. Sometimes it's said that they're sort of in the clouds. It's not clear. They're daydreaming. They're prone to flights of fancy. So they're very interesting. All these people are very interesting. We all are interesting. So, but that's the characteristics. That's what we have. So that ends our lesson for today. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up. If you understood it, that's good. <laughs> All right. All right. Please share and subscribe. And thank you. Have a great day. And of course, bye.